Okay, so here's four examples I want you to try using that flow diagram and backtracking method. When you're done, um, I would like you to fall forward or move forward into the video to go through the solutions. Okay, so the solution to number one, we've got an X term, so we'll start with an X. Then the next thing we did, we multiplied it by this three. So we multiplied it by 3, and that gave us an answer of 12. So moving back the other way, we would come back and do the opposite. So the opposite of times in by 3 is dividing by 3, which should give us our value of x. And so to work it out, we've got 12, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So the answer is 4. So x equals 4. And we can check that because 3 times 4 does equal 12. Okay, in the second one, it's a pretty similar deal. We've got x and we've multiplied it by 20 and the answer is 60. So the way we'd set this out, we start with our x. The first thing we did, we multiplied it by 20 and our answer was 60. Therefore, to work out the value of x, we come back the other way, starting at 60. The opposite of timesing by 20 is dividing by 20. And that should give us our answer. So if we follow it through, 60 divided by 20 is 3. So x equals 3 is the answer. 20 times 3 does equal 60. Okay, this next one's a little bit trickier. Let's have a go. So we started with x. Whoops. Sorry about that. We started with x, and the first thing we did, we multiplied the x by 3. So we've got x, then we're timesing it by 3. Then the next thing we did, after we times it by 3, we then added the 9. Okay, so plus 9. And then the answer was 54. And if you're wondering how do I know that we actually multiplied by 3 before we added the 9, remember, use your bod mass. In relation to the x, the order of operations are divisions and multiplications first, okay? Then, finally, additions and subtractions. So we always do, so that tells me I do the 3 before we, and multiply by the 3 before I add the 9. Okay, so now let's come back the other way. So 54 minus 9, then divided by 3 should give us our answer. So let's do that. 54 minus 9 is 45, so 45, then 45 divided by 3 is 15. So the answer is x equals 15. And we can check that by plugging it in. 3 times 15 is 45 plus 9 equals 54. 50, that does actually, that's true. So x does equal 15. Okay, in this last one, now this one is a bit trickier, okay, because the x plus 9, all of this is being divided by 3, then it's almost like we've got that in brackets, okay, so we need to deal with this first before we divide by the 3, and, that, and then equaling 6. So, starting with our x, the first thing we did, we added the 9. And the reason why we added the 9 before we divided by the 3 was because they are together at the top of this fraction. So we need to deal with this first. So it's x plus 9, then we divided by 3, and then our final answer was 6. So to work out what x is, all we do, we go backwards and reverse the operations. So starting at 6, we then do the opposite of dividing by 3, which is timesing by 3. 
and then we do the opposite of adding 9, which is subtracting 9, and that will give us our value for x. So let's try that. 6 times 3 is 18, and then minus 9 is 9, which means that x must equal 9. Let's check if that's right. So that means that this value here is actually 9. Let's try that. So 9 plus 9 divided by 3 actually equals 18 divided by 3, which is 6. And it certainly does equal 6. So we know we got it right. OK, so hopefully you got all four of those correct. That's great. If not, go back through them and, uh, and make sure you can work out where you went wrong. Thank you.